One of the earliest recorded stories in all of history concerns two royal astronomers working for the Chinese emperor over 4,000 years ago. The story goes that the astronomers were up late partying one night and failed to predict the appearance of a total solar eclipse. This meant that the emperor and his people couldn't perform the required rituals to ward off the bad omen. The emperor had the astronomers beheaded. And since then, astronomers began taking their jobs much more seriously. One of the earliest innovations is something called the Saros Cycle. Astronomers across the world, living in separate times and separate cultures, all came to the same realization. If you see one solar eclipse and wait 233 months, you're likely to see another. But it wasn't until 1715 that we finally got the tools we needed to predict eclipses with pinpoint accuracy. The man who figured it out was none other than Edmund Haley of Haley's Comet fame. Haley was a good friend and cheerleader for Isaac Newton, who had just rocked the scientific world with his discovery of a universal law of gravity. The same force that pulled an apple to the ground was the same force that kept the moon in its orbit around the Earth and the Earth in its orbit around the sun. This discovery changed eclipses from something that just happened in the sky to a byproduct of the normal orbits of the Earth and the Moon. And since we could use the theory of gravity to predict the motions of the Earth and the Moon well into the future, we could predict when eclipses would occur. Now Haley knew that according to the Saros cycles that an eclipse was due over England soon, and he used Newton's theory of gravity to refine that prediction, nailing down the date to May 3rd, 1715. Haley was able to predict, with just ink and paper, the timing of the eclipse and its path over England to within just a few minutes of accuracy. And the map he made showing which regions of the country would experience totality and when serves as the template for all eclipse maps made today. Nowadays, modern astronomers use sophisticated computer algorithms to predict eclipses down to the second. Those tools also allow us to predict eclipses for centuries to come. So when you go out to enjoy the total solar eclipse, savor it for what it is. A lucky coincidence that we won't get to enjoy forever. And please don't behead any astronomers. <laughs>